So here we have a tutorial on how to use the new Nano remotes. We have this remote here, and typically this remote will come with the remote itself, a receiver, this is the receiver, and then it also comes with a USB cable to charge this Nano remote. So it's real simple, this remote has an auto bind feature. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure your VASC, which is this guy here, black wire is plugged in on the left side which is ground so once you have that we're going to go ahead and take this and if you see properly there is a channel one option and you can also see on the top here that the dash or minus is actually ground so you want to make sure that this black wire is facing left and once you plug it in, it should flash. So what it means when it flashes is it simply means that um, it's not paired to a specific remote yet. So all you need to do to pair it is simply just turn on the remote and you want this light here to turn solid red. So right here is the on button. Um, once I turn this button on, you'll see a green light flashing. The green light will basically mean that it's trying to pair on off switch right here turn it on and it's paired so th this is a solid green this one here is a solid red so that means these two are paired so if I throttle this so this motor we have here is our 6355 190 kV e-power motor Here we have our VESC, which you have here. So here we have three wires that go into our motor here. Three wires. Typically, if you're running uncensored, these wires can be plugged in any direction. Um, and then you can see the direction that the motor is spinning. If the motor is spinning backwards or not the right direction, you could swap two wires. Swapping two wires will allow or will switch the direction of the motor. And then we have it connected here to our trucks here. We also have our motor mount here. This is one of our most popular motors. It's a 6355 190 kV motor. We recommend this setup for a 10S or 12S battery. We also have a 6355 260 kV motor. This That motor would be great for a 6S setup as well as uh, 6374 for more power that is also 190 kV and we have a smaller motor which would go on a smaller motor mount that one is a 5065 uh, 260 kV motor meant for a 6S setup so this motor mount we have now is a motor mount for a 63 millimeter motor but we also have another motor mount that's for a 50 millimeter motor